Hey yo, this is Crazy Lake Team back with another motherfucking video. You know what I'm trying to go and say? Get into this. We're gonna get into this now. I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Facebook lately. You know, I've been seeing a lot of Facebook stuff lately, a lot of Facebook drama lately. But this is what I, I wanna, uh, uh, I want to get off my chest and help me to help you, so y'all can help each other. So therefore, how, when you get on Facebook, how many times do you see a male, a female? I'm not saying all females. Some females do this. How many times do you say, see on there? Well, my boyfriend has his computer locked. And her phone like so what is he hiding? Let, let me be clear with that. There's a reason why we hide stuff. The same reason why females hide stuff. Now, the same like me. I'm the type of person I don't have anything to hide, but I'm the type of person like if I want my privacy too. Just because I want my privacy that don't mean I'm hiding anything. Because me saying that having my phone like or your phone like or your whatever, not me in general, but you know what the fuck I mean. Having your phone like doesn't mean you're hiding something. Because for the simple fact is, say that you ask your girl where you going, who you with, every time she walk out the door, she gonna get mad. For the simple fact is, you don't trust her. For the simple fact is, you think she's up to something. She would think she would think that you think that she's up to something. But then when your phone's locked, then it's a bigger issue. No, ladies, no, no, no. When we have our phone locks, it's the same reason you have your phone locks. Some people do butt dialing. Some people do um, phones are like their touch screens are sensitive, so they just call out shit like that. Some people phones die quicker because if you um, open like my phone, where if I go somewhere and I don't have a signal, um, if it tries to keep connected to a better signal, going to die quicker shit like that. So therefore, I just turn my shit off and keep it on lock. So therefore, if I do lose it, can't nobody get into shit get into it. Cause I have an iPhone. And you know, like I know, with an iPhone, if you lock this shit, if you don't know the password, then you can't get it, that motherfucker, no matter how hard you try. So, so you lost it, and then somebody found it, you did a password, that thing got three times before it automatically locks, and then you have to sync it from the computer that you was on last. Now, saying that to all my fellas, like I said, when your woman is locking her stuff, like I said, nobody knows how that person grew up or how they was raised or what happened to them in the past or whatever whatever but at the same time you gotta trust your boyfriend or girlfriend when they got something like their phone or the computer locked or some shit like that because maybe they could have had a bad experience before and they just don't feel comfortable dropping their guard or shit like that like I said, I said me I have nothing to hide but some people get so mad because their boyfriend or girlfriend got their phones on lock and shit like that like there's if you trust your boyfriend or girlfriend, your wife or husband, or whatever the hell you with, then their phone on lock shouldn't be an issue. That sounds like some insecurity issues that y'all need to work out. For some fact, like, there's nothing to hide in a relationship. A relationship is built on trust. For the simple fact is, without trust, without communication, there's nothing. So therefore, if I see you hiding your shit, if I see you hiding your phone, that's different. If I see, you know, me walking in a room and you fucking put the motherfucker on the pillow, I'm gonna punch you in the back of the head and knock you out and take the phone anyway. But anyway, shit like that. Now, if I'm just like, my phone is on lock, I'm not hiding anything from you. Just like other dudes have phones, like, some dudes might be doing shit like that. I'm not saying that it, it, it can't happen. Um, it can happen when a female do that too. It's the same thing. But at the end of the day, if you trust that person that you was with, then there's not really an issue. Now, but like I said, that, that's just, just me. So ladies, stop talking about your man having his phone on silent and, and not silent, but uh, that's a tick too. Silent or locked or whatever, and you think he's hiding something. No, he could be hiding something, but if you know that he's hiding something and you know that he was a player before you got with him, then you put yourself in that position because you know what he was doing before that when you met him, so you shouldn't get to be surprised when you do it after that. But same as fellas. Don't get mad when your girl's phone is on lock or some shit like that because if she trusts you and y'all trust each other then she will give you her lock phone but there's no reason for you to check her phone anyway. Just like a woman, there's need a reason for checking your man shit. If you don't check, like I said, like I said, if you go looking for shit you find shit that you don't like then you're going to hurt yourself. So, it, it just is what it is. That's the way it's supposed to be. But like I said, this is Crazy 18 with another motherfucking video. I'm about to go stab me some midgets, you know, go to the bakery and go buy me a whole bunch of donuts and then go sell them to some, some Scandinavian kids and all that other shit. But you know, I got it. I, I, this bitch because I'm hungry than a motherfucker. And 
be taking up my time. But anyway, this is Crazy 18. Leave you another motherfucking video. Go subscribe to my channel. Go like my Facebook page. I'll leave that shit at the bottom. And yeah, go do that shit. Alright?